It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer, a beer that was kindly sent to us by the fantastic Brewski Brewing Company in Sweden. There's a picture of Henok there in his fantastic, look at that, he looks like, um, almost like a wizard, like a wizard or um, somebody who's about to spin that kind of pole round and like, like in charge of the circus type of thing. So Hanok is the owner, probably head brewer, everything else of Omnipolo. Uh, Omnipolo are a very, very kind of famous Swedish craft brewery and Brewski have done a collaboration with them. This is called Blueberry Fluff Forever Goza. It's a 4.5% ABV, 330 milliliter Red Bull style kind of can going on. Thank you very much to Brewski for sending us the beer. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Good bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. I got a nucleated glass, so um, just be mindful of that, or I should be mindful of that. Oh, I don't need to be my. I could just pour this from a height. I mean, look at that. Wow. After reviewing 8,000. <laughs> After reviewing 8,000 beers on YouTube. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at that. Um, I almost want to get a can of lager and throw it into a glass really quickly and you get that really fast process of carbonation where it kind of it it, got, it does the whole Guinness thing the dum, the dum, dum, the dum. you know the, the riding horses in the sea where you get all of that carbonation firing up the glass this is trying to do the same thing my goodness me I just want to stand here and show that to you for a minute because I almost want to be really geeky and get a torch out, but I'm not going to do that. Can you see that this beer is so thick? This beer is so, so, so thick that the carbonation is struggling like hell. It's struggling like hell to climb up through that beer. That is the thickest it's still creating a head. It's still, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this beer in complete amazement. I've never seen anything quite like this. Anything quite like this. My goodness me. It was almost as if, now I went into this review thinking, mm, slightly scared. Um, I really like Brewski beers, um, Omnipolo beers. Lately they They've been a bit, and excuse me, but I'm just going to come out and be honest, they've been a bit gimmicky. But there's nothing, I mean, I mean I'm just looking at it, I know that the, the head is still growing. That is the most immense thing I've ever seen in my life. It's, and I think it's the most time I've ever given to the look of a beer on the channel. It's... Deep, deep, deep purple. Deep purple. It was like engine oil pouring out. I mean, I just that's just incredible. Incredible. That head will be there. If I put this beer on the side and come back in 12 hours, that head would still be there. That is not going anywhere. Aroma. I mean, I'm rolling this beer around like I normally do. And the beer's normally slopping around in the glass. That is like trifle. That is trifle aroma. Wow, just. It's fruit juice. It's just. This is just pure blueberry. They must have. They must have filled the...
whether they put it in the kettle, whether they put it in the fermenter, whatever vessel they chose to, to use with this, they must have filled it. They must have just gone, okay, we're just going to fill this thing with blueberries, see what happens. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Just looking in the mirror to see if I've um, got a big, oh, this is just ice cream. I don't know. I can't quite see. I might have a big purple mouth after this. Ooh, have they used the word beer? Have they used the word beer? Right, they've used the word goza, which is a beer style. They've used the word alut, beer, beer, cerveza, beer, beer, all over the side of the can. So they, they, they've essentially called it a beer. Um, I... No, this is a wild experiment, and I know Brewski and Omnipolo, or mainly Omnipolo, Brewski knowing that Omnipolo were going to come and brew with them. They knew that it was going to be some kind of like extreme thing that they were going to do together. Yeah. And this is about as far away from a beer as I've ever tasted. Um... Goza is a German style of beer that comes from the Goza region of Germany. There's a Goza River where the river water is slightly salty and that saltiness translates. They use the river water to brew with, um, resulting in the beer tasting slightly salty. There's no real... There's no real saltiness here. There's no real, I suppose if you really think about it, there might be a little bit of saltiness, but this is just, this is a high end. Like if you, if you went online and you, and you searched, um, super, super food drink, you know, that, that kind of healthy, healthy drinks. Then, then this is the type of thing, you know, and you want to pay £10 a carton for the damn stuff. This is the type of thing that would gloop out of your cardboard carton. Um, I mean, look at it. Look at the fruit on the glass. I totally, I totally kind of admire Brewski for taking this on and, and putting the amount of fruit that they have in this beer. Call it a beer. It's not a beer. It's not. Um, but this is this is the problem. I think. I mean, is it because I'm of a certain age? Is it because that I'm that I'm 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 almost like this can't be beer because it's got way too much fruit in it. It's like a smoothie. Well, you can see that it's a smoothie. That that's just, it's bonkers. All I can taste here is a slight saltiness and blueberry. There's nothing else. There's no, there's no malt. It's difficult to kind of gauge the body. It's difficult to gauge the carbonation. It's difficult to gauge if there's any bitterness, if they've added any hops to the beer or this drink. Let's see if we can, if they've put ingredients on the side of the can. I'd like to see the ingredients on this because... I don't know. I'm I'm pretty sure that <sighs> contains barley and wheat. So they, they they've actually used barley and wheat in this, but it's four point five percent ABV. I'm just gonna put this in the fridge and let my wife taste this when she comes in because it's just 
It's insane. I'm sure that the guys at Brewski would want my honest opinion on this. They wouldn't want me to mince my words. They wouldn't want me to fake a review or fake a rating for a review. Because I've been to their wonderful festival. I'm just going to come out and be honest with this and say it's just completely not for me. It, it's it's completely not for me. Um, it's for me. It's not beer. Comment in the comments box below if if you think it's beer. If you think it's not beer, but for me it's too extreme. It it's too extreme. Call it an alcohol smoothie by all means. Um, there's nothing off putting in terms of if it was an alcoholic smoothie. If if you offered this to me. From a carton, I would sit and enjoy it in the sunshine, but but not as a beer, not as a beer. Yeah, I, I'm wondering even where, how to rate this. How do I, how do I rate? I mean, they put a lot of effort into it. You can see, you can see the effort by the amount of blooming fruit. But how do you rate? Something like this. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a four out of ten. I'm going to give it a four out of ten. I, I just. I just. I'm just too far. I'm, I'm too far irritated if I'm honest I'm too inside I'm 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 really irritated by just that in the glass it just it's just not for me it's not for me but but of course thank you so very much for the guys at Brewski for sending me the alcoholic drink please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.